right. All right. Well, welcome on back, faithful, and for anyone new joining us today on the stream, my name is Eric Rolon, aka Angel Legend, and today is tutorial time again. Only we're doing a live stream, so this will be my second one, a little bit more seasoned than last time, and it's going to go a whole lot smoother. Today, we are building our Halo 4 Mark VI full, excuse me, forearm. And we are doing this out of EVA foam, as the title of this video would imply. So, without further ado, we are going to jump right on in. Now, for this build, if you look inside the description below this video, you can find this particular forearm build model. Go to uh, Pretzel's Lab, and this is an actual um, foam modified version. So, it's um, a PDO file for Peppacore that has been adjusted just a little bit, so it fits better with foam. So go for the, the uh, modified version. And the one that I'm doing right now is a, I believe it's the regular scale. Yes, this is the standard scale for this particular file. And this is for the left arm here. See, it fits my arm pretty well. I wear an exo suit underneath it, so it'll fill out the rest of this here. Plus you'll have to add some foam to get it to sit just right on your arm here. But as I said, go for the regular scale. If you do it 10% bigger, it is gonna be almost big enough to fit on your calf. All right. All right, for this one, we're gonna go ahead and start with the easiest pieces first. You'll notice here on these, I've got a little bit of surface detail that I've added there. Um, you don't have to do that, but I'm a stickler for detail. And when I see it, I have to add it. So I always keep a, uh, an image up of Master Chief's armor from the game, so I know exactly what I'm trying to go for. So we're going to build the elbow section first, and then we're just going to build this part by part by part part it's like a four four-sided piece here so we're just going to build each one individually and then attach them all together um, I use Loctite five second super glue endorse me Loctite um, it is amazing stuff I use that for all the seams here all my connection pieces um, and then I go back on the inside I don't know if you can see too well there but I go back on the inside with hot glue I run it at a low heat setting and I reinforce all those seams it's Loctite bonds on a molecular level with this foam when you cut it, and it's perfect. All right, get our Wicked Sharp box cutter here. I always keep two, one for trimming, one for doing corner cuts. On this one here, I'm gonna do a corner cut piece, which means I'm gonna cut this at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna take just a little ribbon out of both sides of this so that this comes together seamlessly, and I can bend it down into shape. Let's see, this one here. You can't see it too well there, but you can see how it angles back and in like that. That's so you can get the piece to curve properly without having to heat it so much and really bend it. This is going to help you force it, the uh, shape into place. You'll probably end up making three to four pulls on this. Again, this is our Halo Mark IV, excuse me, Mark VI forearm for Halo 4. Just like that, by the other side. <laughs> what up, Mug? Or is that MJG? Hey! There he is. All right. And I put this out last time, but anyone who's working on their own suit of armor you would I would love to see what you're coming up with so please find a link in the description below for my uh, Facebook channel to my Facebook page Angel Legend send me those photos I would love to see what kind of progress you're making let me trick how are we doing all right so I've done that cut on both sides there but before I attach it here I'm going to heat treat this here bend it back just a little bit and I'm gonna heat treat both sides of this here as well. Heat gun, be careful with this because it will singe the hair clear off your hand. It's best if you heat on top of a wood surface. 
so you don't end up melting anything. Don't need a whole lot. Give it a nice little bend. Um, more of a bend up top, less of a bend down below. And bend it just enough. You don't gotta go crazy on it, but bend it a little bit past what you think you're gonna need. So go just a little hair past, because the foam is still gonna try and pull itself back out. So by bending it back a little bit, you uh, kind of keep it from doing that. So it will, like I said, it will come back a little ways, but you go a little bit past what you need, then you see it will kind of come back, but it goes right to where I want it, and that's the perfect angle that I want on this piece. Now, this one here, I'm going to heat this up, and then I'm going to pull in with my thumb, and I'm going to torque the piece a little bit as I curve it down. I've got these two grooves on the back here, and I'm also going to cut out after I'm done, and I'm going to tip the piece in a little bit, and run a little ribbon of glue there to hold the top part here flexed back like it is here. Twist it in a little bit, pulling my hands, and I'm going to try and curve this entire piece. Okay. I'm going to give it kind of a domey little shape. Now, if you got to do this in steps, get your, your curve to it first, and then come back through the torque, whatever works best for you. You don't have to flex it too hard, but just enough so that it takes its shape. There we go. Just like that. It's got just enough of a curve that I want there. Okay. I'm going to cut out a small V along this line that I've marked there. I'm going to go a quarter of an inch on either side so I can bend it back just a little bit without too much of a struggle in doing so. Again, you'll go about a quarter of an inch V you'll cut inside here and about a quarter of an inch down into the material. And uh, this is going to be an actual full length tutorial. So this may be an hour and a half. It may be two and a half hours. I understand if you got to go. I'm not doing a time lapse whatsoever with this because I want you to see exactly the scale of time it takes to do a build of this magnitude. Okay. So I got my little curve there. So I'm going to my little cut there so I can bend that back and get a nice little line here. And I'm actually going to put just a touch more heat right on this area here because I want to twist it in a little bit further. Pushing on the back side here with my thumb to do this. I'm pulling down with my fingers. There we go. That's the curve I want on there. Okay. Do the same thing with this side here. Crazy cookie, how we doing? That seven views. All right, here we go. Make dome push in with the middle. It's gonna be from the middle with your thumbs like this. From the back side, pull back with your fingers. We want that dome shape first, and then we'll give it the twist. Pulling back again a little bit further than you think you're gonna need it to go because you know it's gonna try and flex itself back out. So go just a touch further. That way, when it does flex back out, it's not gonna go too far on you. You're not gonna hold it too long. There we are, there's our curve. Now we're gonna add that torque inside this one as well. Right on the edge. So please be careful with this heat gun, guys. It does get very, very hot. I know I get it very close to my skin. My skin is tempered from uh, working inside a garage, changing oil, working on engines, um, working with this heat gun. So I get a whole lot closer to it than you probably should starting off, so just be aware of that. All right, there's our torque. Now again, make the same kind of cut on the back here. Right. 
Crazy Cookie, I am doing great. Thank you for asking. This is the second live stream I'm ever doing, so I'm hoping you guys can see me all right. I hope I sound okay. I hope you all enjoy. All right. We're going to start by attaching the bottom first and then pulling the whole shape back on up to the top here. When we get to the top, I'm going to switch to the other side, and I'm going to flip it back on the uh, over, and I'm going to run some glue in this seam, and I'm going to pull it in just a touch more so it takes that little dipped curve on the back. And because I did a corner cut on it, I'm going to put that glue right on the very edge, and I'm going to go edge to edge with the entire thing. Right there, corner to corner. So edge is attached, a little smoother piece here. Smooth that glue along there. That way you don't have too much extra. That's just lingering. You see that there? And then this way, when you bend it, the seam stays nice and sealed shut. So do the same thing all the way on down. You want to make sure that your corners touch, okay? So you saw how I kind of pulled it back and forced it. Forcing that piece to hit the corners first means you can then push up from the inside to make the rest of the seam contact, and it forces the shape to round out. See how it's already coming together like that? Make sure you hit the corners first and then take care of the middle. Feels a little wonky, but if you just attach it like this and then try to walk it all the way down, you may end up past or um, a little further away. So stretch the foam to make your corners. If you are working with Loctite super glue like I am, be aware you're going to get it all over yourself. It's a hazard of the job, but it is the best material that I've found, or excuse me, the best um, thing that I've found for working with this kind of uh, material. All right, one side done, same thing on the other side. Glue right here on the edge. This stuff goes real quick. You got about five seconds with this stuff, as the bottle would imply. There we go. Attach it, smooth it out. Smoothing it out not only makes it look nice, but it kind of puts um, a bit of glue on both sides of the seam, so it makes like a shell. So it holds it all locked together for you. All right, that side done. Blend it on down. Now I'm going to hit this corner first here, but I'm going to put glue on the whole thing. Put a little bit of glue here. Let's go corner first. There we go. Feed it on in. There we are. Elbow. Done save for our little glue in the back here. So for this here, all I'm gonna do, I'll put a little bit of hot glue and I'm just gonna pinch it down just enough to hold it in place. So what I may do actually first is put a little bit of this five second down inside there, right in that very crease in the very, very, very center of it. Pinch it in just enough to hold it. And while holding it with one hand, go back through with your little smoother piece and smooth that glue out down inside that groove to get it to make contact with both sides. Let's see here. Perfect. See that little angle we got there now? Just enough, but it's not too um, too crazy obvious that we've got quite an extreme angle on it. Same on the other side. A little bit of glue right on down here. Like that. Pinch it in. Smooth it on out. Here we are. Whole piece for the elbow. For this is we're working on the right arm here is done. Be aware when you're working with this particular file, it is made. Um, all the cuts that you're going to see on it are made for the left arm. So when you're done cutting them all off the left arm, flip every piece over. So flip your uh, your Papakura um, template, flip it over. That way you're making sure you do the right arm. Because otherwise, if you trace the same exact thing again, you're going to have two left arms. So just be aware of that. 
Now, ideally, what I would do right now is I come back through with my hot glue gun, and I would go ahead and reinforce all these seams here over time. I'm not going to do that right now. So we are going to move on a little bit further and do our next piece. And we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do this center piece right here first. So these are the pieces that you're going to have for the center piece. Um, you'll see there's a few recessed cuts here where I'll just take an X-Acto blade and I will cut down through there, pull the entire piece out, turn it on its side, cut it in half, and then reinsert it and attach it. So you get these nice little recessed areas. I'm going to have one up here as well, as well as a bend inside of it. Now for this one here, there's no curve to it, but I am going to heat it and I'm going to tip it out just a little ways. You can see here on this one, it's got a little bit of a gentle slope for the forearm right there. So we're going to pitch it out just a little bit. What helps with doing a straight over pitch? Where is my? There it is. What helps with doing a straight line is put your ruler on it and bend back against your ruler. That way you get a nice even press through the whole thing. And again, go a little further than you need it. There we are. Easy enough. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with these two pieces. You can see where I've marked them. Where I'm going to go ahead and do that. Don't be afraid to mark up your stuff. And I would suggest using a pen. Don't use a sharpie. Because this foam will suck the life right out of your sharpie. Can't tell what that name is. It looks like Russian characters. So, hello! Welcome to the live stream. There we go. Nice little bend inside of it. Next side. Again, put that ruler right on top of there. Press in gently and lift up right on that little crease that you made. And then again, go a little bit further than you think you have to go. So that foam will come back down just a little bit. Here we are, another gentle bend. Okay, now with these ones here, we are going to also do a corner cut on these pieces here, these side pieces, and we're going to fit them up along the sides here because we want to curve on down or angle on down. So, take our nice sharp box cutter again, go right up to that edge, and walk it on back. That one's almost on the wrong side. I caught that. Make sure you go in where the notched edge is right there. Cut at a 45 degree angle for this one as well. Might take you about four pulls to get all the way through it. There we go. Nice little corner edge on there. Same thing on the other side. You're going right up to that top corner and, and angling down from there. Okay, now I'll take the first one, corner to corner first, feed it right on down. 
This one we can see it's going to hit even, so I'm not going to worry about hitting the edge there, hitting that edge, and then fill in the middle. I'm just going to go right down the whole thing. So I'm going to put the glue on the smallest amount of surface area first. That way I don't use too little or too much. And flush it right up against the corner in that little corner slot. And hold it out parallel with it first. Run that glue down there. Get a little bend. Just like that. And we'll wrap this on down here. Yeah, four whole watchers. I don't know if we got new ones or if there's ones that have been here before, but thanks for hanging out. All right, walking that glue down, closing in a little bit. Starting to take shape already. This top here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to trim this little angle off the very top part there. Ideally, I would have wanted to do it before I heated it, but I'm pretty confident in my cutting skills that I can hit just that corner. There we are, and that will allow us to attach this with a nice little bend to it as well. see on the back, excuse me, on the front here, I've marked some of the dotted lines. It's because this is getting a bend. So I flipped it over where I've marked where I'm going to be doing a V cut on the back here. So we have our box cutter. Cut our little V trench out of it. Again, this one has a little recessed area inside the middle of it, so just be aware of that. We're working. French piece out. Hey, another viewer, welcome. Okay, now I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to pinch it down a little further. And that shape there is going to tr start to bend down. Once I get more glue on the inside here, I'm going to pull the whole thing in and it's going to curve the whole shape in. So do a little bit here first, both sides, and then really smash it down in there. I have to hold really well, so give it a good press in, get your smoother piece, and rub that glue into that seam. You want it to make really solid contact. There we are. So now I will take some glue, run it down the rest of that seam there, pinch it in further. Use the table to hold it. You want to get in here and smooth it all out. There we are. One side done. Okay. This one, I'm going to go ahead and trim the corner off here before I attach it. That way, they won't have to fight with it later. Same thing on this side. Do the corner first, run a piece down, and then match that edge. There we go. Smooth that glue out. Like 
send. I can tell it's trying to extend a little bit further past where I want it to go. So I'm going to pull the corner first, that edge, and then force this shape into place. Like that. joining us. Okay. Pardon. Match that corner. Pull it if you gotta. Hit that corner. And press the whole thing down. There we go. Give the guy a little more there. All right, a little more glue on the back side here. Again, I'm going to pinch the whole thing in. There we are. Smooth that glue right into that shape. And there's our first piece. We've done the lower section here. Now we're going to build the top part and attach both of them together. All right. So this, got a couple shapes like this here. And have a few recessed little areas there that will fill in once we get this whole thing fitted. This one here, you can see the little spot there. I've got the piece that I cut out of it here, but it's not going to fit really well back inside there. So I'm going to cut it into a little triangle. That way I can wedge it in there. So just trim a little bit off. Let me dry fit it first. And just see. Oh yeah, that'll fit nice and easily right down in there like that. So we'll just leave it right where it is. Come in from behind with your super glue. Dab it on there. And smooth it on in. And then we'll keep that piece right where we just put it. There we go, not too bad. Now for this one here, we're gonna trim the entire piece all the way around, doing a corner cut around that entire thing there before we attach it to this little U shape. There we go. Okay. I like to have the image up next to me so I can see where I'm at. Okay. Again, doing about a 45 degree angle. Doing a curve one like this is a little bit tough the first couple times you do it. Do it enough and you'll become a champ at it. Just walk it around. There we are. Not the most graceful looking thing, but you can see that edge all the way around, and that's going to make it so that it seamlessly fits right into here a whole lot nicer. Okay, no heat needed for this. There's very little heat used on the forearm piece in general, just so you're aware. Okay. 
do this top piece here and just the very tip of that next little section right there. So we're gonna go edge to edge first, as always. Make sure you hit that full contact there. Press it in so it holds. And there we are. We'll do the other side now and then we'll walk that round shape into place. So a little dab here. A little bit right there on that edge. Press it into place. And a little bit of bubble over, which is totally fine. We want that. Smooth it out. Okay. Now because I made that extreme cut in the back here, we're going to start to feed this shape back in. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the inside of these both little corners here, and then I'm going to crush it right into place. Press it right on up in there, just like that. Go extreme with it. Push in a little further than you think you're going to need to. Totally fine. Because it will pull its way back out a little ways. There we are. Already taking shape. So now, I will finish this whole front seam there. Pop out a little ways. Pop it up, not pop up. Pop up, Kyle. What do I eat, Kyle? You're a bear to cut a fish. Alright. Nest it right in there. Got quite a bit of extra glue on there. Also good, because I want that. Smooth it on down. Alright, and again, I'm gonna push, I'm going to put glue there and I'm going to push the entire piece to curve in on itself. So a little glue around that edge, and then curve it on in. Okay, now this piece here, we're gonna fit right up against here. Okay, I'm gonna go edge to edge with the center there. And I'm going to bend those little curved pieces right into it. You can see kind of how I've done it right here, right there, edge to edge on that piece. right in the middle of it. I'm going to push it in so it makes that contact right on it. There we go. Put that glue into that seam and then I'm going to crimp in the rest of this and make it attach as well. That. Smooth that glue into place there. Make sure my smoother piece is done. Grab the fresh one. There we go. All right. Same on the other side. And there we are. Nice contact made.
go. I'm gonna pinch a little bit further, do a little bit more glue because I want it to have even more of a roundness to that shape. Just a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna leave it as is, but I am gonna put some hot glue inside here because I'm gonna need this piece to be strong when we attach it later. So, do a bit of it right on up. Do all the seams. And don't worry about how it looks in the back here. Nobody is going to see the inside but you. Only you know it's there and you want it to be strong. So gob it in there, okay? Because the super glue will hold the outside of the shape, but you're going to want a bit of hot glue in the back to make sure that no seam pop open. Because super glue will, will pop open eventually, um, but it'll tear when it does. This will keep it from tearing. This will keep your suit from busting wide open because hot glue has a little bit of flex to it and it holds very, very well. Again, I'm using a hot glue gun with a low heat setting because I don't want that glue to stay so viscous so long. Plus, I don't need it to be that crazy hot either. Nice and reinforced here. As for these little pieces, we're gonna fit those in right now. So, save your scrap pieces. Uh, let's see, we got just a couple little triangle pieces to fit inside there. Slap them in right there. I'm gonna trim off just a touch. And again, I'm just going to press them right on down inside those shapes. We may even need to cut a little bit more. Oh, nope, we should be good. There we go. Oop, going the wrong way. There we go. See? Tucked it nice on in there like that. Because we already put glue, hot glue on the back side, we'll just do a little spot of super glue in the front. Just right in the corner of it, get your little smoother piece, and just kind of nestle it in there. Just make sure you're hitting contact with all the edges of it. There's one side. We'll do the other one. Just snug down in there. Spot of glue. Smooth it on in. And again, the reason why I'm using super glue for this build is because I want my seams and edges to be as clean as possible so I don't have huge beads of hot glue on the surface. All right, this whole full side is done for now. We have a couple little pieces we're going to attach later to it. Just put that off to the side there. All right. Now we're going to move on to this side here. Pretty straightforward on this one. Okay, so this piece here, we're going to do a corner trim down just this section on both sides of it first. Because it's going to fit inside this here, which we're going to be angling down to match it. Here. I'm just gonna go right from here to here. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and on the back here, I'm gonna take just a little bit of foam out, just a little groove. Little V-shaped section of foam. Right out. That way it helps with my bend when I go to put it in place there. Oh, 
another watcher. Welcome to the channel. Okay. Also, before I bend it, I am going to trim this corner here and that corner edge. I'm going to do an angle cut on that. So when I bend it in, I want it to be seamless as well. It's going to go like this. It's going to bend in and attach there. So the whole shape is going to have this little rounded off look to it. Okay. Same on this side. Take the whole wedge right there. Here we are. Back side will look kind of like that. Okay. Now to trim this piece. Again, you want the whole length of it. We're at about a 45 for that whole side. Flip it, do the same one this side. And then also, be careful when you're doing this edge so you don't take too much off that upper piece there because we do need that to make contact. So just be aware, it's a tiny little piece there that we've I've cut a little bit in there because I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. Just be careful when you're cutting that little section. You don't go too crazy with it. There we are. Okay, so now attach this side first, that side second. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, you're going to go ahead and corner cut. We're going to corner cut, I think, both sides, actually. Let's see here. Yes, we're going to do a corner cut on this edge here on both of those as well. Not quite 45 degree, let's go for 30. That's more like it. Edge to edge. side next. There we go. Let's move it on out, all down that piece. We're going to bend it in and we're going to go ahead and glue the back section of it through here. I go right in the middle of that seam on that edge, both sides. There we go. Pull thing on in. We'll just hold it. You can see how the front's starting to look fair. It's taking on the shape that we want it to take on. Okay. 
Now for this section here, pull a little recess area out of there. I'm gonna make a groove cut here, lift it up, glue it, and then I'm gonna bend it back down just so it makes contact barely on the inside here. So it's gonna be raised up kind of like that. And we'll go ahead and glue these little sections down first, and we'll go ahead and attach the top area here as well. All right, it's looking like I'm gonna to need to do a corner cut on that edge there too to make it nestle down in here better. So we'll go ahead and do that now. out. So we'll do it on this side. I'm not quite doing a 40, I'm doing more of like a 30 degree angle on this one. Yeah. Pull out. Beautiful. So we'll hit that, we'll hit both these sides first and then pinch the whole thing in. It's a good looking seam. Perfect seam. All right, same on this one. And again, what's really nice about the forearm shape is that when you get the pieces attached where they're supposed to go, the whole thing forces itself into shape. There's not too much heating involved with the forearm edge. Now I'm going to pinch it a little bit further. Get that whole shape really locked in there. Just a little bit more on the inside here. A little bit right there. Both sides. Pinch it. And there we are. Majority of the shape is done. I am going to now cut a small V right in the back side of where that little edge is there. Because that's where our um, elbow piece that we made earlier is going to nestle down and sit when this whole thing comes together. So don't take too much out, just a little V. We don't want to cut entirely through that whole shape there. Just a little bit. Halfway through, it'll do it. Okay. Keep a little scrap bag next to you that you can throw your pieces into. Okay. I'm just going to bend it just like that. A little touch here, a little touch there. Here, a touch, there, a touch. Everywhere diddling. All right. Just like that. Okay, now as for this piece, we're gonna muscle this sucker right in as well. So I'm gonna do not quite a quarter of an inch slice on either side here, but I am gonna cut just a little bit, maybe about an eighth of an inch past that line. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna cut right on the line that I've marked. I don't want this to be too much of a crazy uh, bend out here. Just enough. I think that will. Okay. So I'm going to pull it up first, do that, hit uh, the middle, then I'm going to hit both the little edge sides there. Pull it up. Smooth it on in. There we go. Now, as I said, a little dab on the middle pieces there. Fold that shape in place. So I'm just gonna pull it in a little, just a little touch. A little bit right inside there. Stuff it in that little seam. All right, other side now. I'm gonna press it in a little ways there. It's trying to pop out on me. There we go. Right, just 
Now, as I said, I'm going to bend this down, and I'm just going to make contact. So I'm going to tuck this top piece here. I'm going to tuck that right to the edge, about midway up on this piece here. So that'll give me uh, the start of my look that I want. So put it right about the bottom third of it. Put that lip right on there. In. There we go. Now I'm going to squeeze in the sides and press the shape right up against the inside groove there. So I want just under an eighth of an inch overhang on the side there from this piece. Just enough so you know what's going on. Okay. Okay. And on this side as well, same thing. Majority of it is locked in and done. Put a little bit more glue inside that side there because I don't want it coming out on me. I'm just gonna blob it in there. Oh, that should be good. Right. There's the majority of it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this little middle piece here. We haven't bent it too far, so I'm just gonna. Push it in about halfway through that piece so it's nice and recessed like that. So the back here, and I'll just glue around that back. Smooth around that little crease there. All right, upper section done. Um, before we go any further, I am going to go ahead and reinforce the back here because I do need this to be reinforced when we attach it because I won't be able to get my, my uh, glue gun all the way down inside there. So I'm going to do every single seam. And if you're going to go hot glue for reinforcing, you'll probably end up going through a about two full bags of glue sticks for a suit of Halo armor, just so you know. So when you're pricing it all out or you're going to buy all your uh, all your uh, materials, keep that in mind. You'll probably go through two full bags. And I average, uh, using Loctite Super Glue, I average about three full pieces with a bottle of Loctite. So also keep that in mind. And they're like 468 right around there. So just keep that in mind also when you're buying your pieces and you know if you're buying your materials a little bit at a time, just keep that in mind. Seam. Just gob it in there because you want this to hold shape. You do not want it busting itself out. This forearms probably more than anything, any other piece aside from the boot. The forearms will probably take the second most beating of your entire piece, so just be aware of that. The boots, obviously, are going to take a beating. Oh, yeah, your forearms, they will as well. Okay. There we go. Nice and reinforced. And if you see little corners you want to really make sure that they look nice and seamless, put a little glue inside there and just smooth it in using the iron part of that glue gun. Just kind of force that glue down in there. I use it sparingly because, as I said, I want it to look as clean as possible. You do what you like. If you want to use your own uh, artistic flair on this, by all means do so. There we go. 
Okay. On to the bottom of it. So we have this little piece, like this here. So we got two recessed sides here, and then it's going to angle and bend down. <clears throat> you can see the way this is here on the front there. It's got a slight bend down on both sides of it. I'm going to cut the recessed areas out first, do a groove cut on the back of it, and then angle the whole thing down. Using an exacto knife for here, just push straight down, pull back, straight down, pull back. And I'm going to kind of saw through it. Pull that one out, off to the side because we need it for later. Straight down, back, straight down, and back. All right, new watchers, welcome to the channel. Okay, now I've marked on the back here where I want to make this angled uh, groove cut here. So extend your blade fully, and you're going to do about a quarter of an inch groove. Both sides of it. A little bit further than that. There we are. Same thing on this side. I am going to go ahead and glue all those little pieces down first. Move it in a little bit. Starting to take shape already. Other side now. Both pieces, press it on in. There we go. There's our little, I think it's curved down for that piece. You attach it here, if you can see what I've done here, I've attached it flush with these smaller pieces there. So just flush it right in and you're going to hit about midway up on that uh, upper edge there. So just a little below that upper edge. You can see right here, it's got kind of a step to it. I'm sure you probably can see that too. Okay. Edge to edge first, make sure you get right up to the front of it. Press it down in. All right, now we'll do the other side. Boom, there we go. All right, smoother little bead of glue out there. Now I'm going to pull it out, put a little glue on this edge, and then I'm going to push it right up against there. Just a little bit around here. Press it right on in. I know I'm moving at a pretty quick pace right now, guys. Please do not feel like you need to go as fast as I am. I've been doing this a long time. I'm pretty seasoned at it. So take your time. By all means, take your time. Make it look amazing. Do not rush this. Okay. Front attached. Little accent pieces we have on the side. We're going to trim these again down and stuff them down inside there. Flip it over. Make it into a little triangle shape. A little pyramid. Press it right back on in that little slot. Push it down so it's about... Mm -hmm. So you got enough of a little lip on the top and the sides. 
So you can see that it's recessed. If you guys have any questions or anything that I'm doing, please type them on out so I can see them over here. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. So let me get. We are going to put a little bit of glue on both sides. Smooth that in with our smoothie piece here. This will make it full contact with everything. Pretty much we just want all the, uh, I guess, the corners of it on the inside there to make contact. Right. Again, I am going to go ahead and reinforce the back of this again with some hot glue as I am going to need it. Oops. Let me see here. Swirl it in, fill that little gap. Right. This side, for the time being, is done. We are going to move on to our next side. So we'll set this off to the side over here. Get the two of them done. Right there already. Okay. Need to trim. Okay. Next up, we're gonna go for. This section here, this is gonna be one of the tougher sides to do, but it is the most pinnacle part because this is what goes on the upper portion of your arm, okay? So this is the section we're gonna do right there. It is a bit of a challenge, but I think you guys can handle it. Hmm. Saw a spot I can strengthen on this piece here. Look at that. Now this one is going to require some heating to get the piece into shape. So we're going to build the upper middle piece here first, okay? We do not. All right. So I'm going to take the middle section here. I've already recessed these two little gaps there first. Take out my little accents because I'll need those for later. Set them off to the side. And I'm going to make a corner cut all down the entire length of this whole thing here. Okay. This is going to help this nestle right on into the little U-shape that we have. So again, about 45 degree angle on this here. Curve area is the tougher little spot to hit. Just walk it around. Again, be careful. Make sure you're working with a real sharp box cutter. If it's a dull, you can get snagged up, slip, kick back, and hit yourself in the finger. So no one needs stitches on a Saturday. Ribbon off, this side now. I probably say this in about every video, but the draw, the um, pepper core files, they're not gonna call out a corner cut to you. They're not gonna tell you to recess a spot. It's stuff that you gotta just experiment with and figure out on your own. This has come by a lot of trial and error that I've learned how to do edges like that and put them together. So experiment and have fun. For the this piece here, 
I'm going to mark out my space on the back of it here into a V because I'm going to cut a groove on both sides so I can fold it in. I'm also going to cut a small section out here so I can fold it up. Again, do about a quarter of an inch wide V that you're going to cut out. A little trench there for it. There. Over the top, same thing on this here. This one you don't need quite as big a V, just enough. Just enough to bend them on up. Let's see how this goes. I need a little bit more than that. Don't worry what the inside of that trench is going to look like because you can, you're going to end up closing that gap anyway. So don't worry about what it looks like. Okay. So now we are going to, first off, we're going to attach the front here. And we're going to curve the entire shape around. We're going to hit both front pieces and then we're going to force this to line up with that edge there. Is going to give us the makings of the start of this first piece, or this uh, upper piece here. So, again, right to the edge first, right to that corner. So, back to that a little bit. There we go. Again, that side. Okay. We're going to bend it down and we're going to push that whole piece in. Okay. Start feeding it on in. So we're going to go these edges first and then hit those corners and then pop the whole thing down in there. And then smooth out the rest of that glue. Right. Let's see how far this is. Oh, this is all right here. Yeah, we'll do a couple passes. Now I'm going to do the very end first, and then I'm going to push the rest of that piece in. I'll pull it back so I make contact right with that lip. Totally flush in there. Okay. Now I'm going to feed it all the way down. There we go. Just like that. Do the same thing on this side. Be 
don't be afraid to pull on it a little bit. This foam has got a nice bit of flex to it, so you should be able to put it right into place. A little effort. Okay, there we go. Our shape is taking form now. And let's see what we do here. I am going to put a support piece in the front here. We'll nestle it on inside there. I am going to trim it so I can pinch that end in just a little bit. Before I do that, we'll run some glue on the seam here and we'll crush this in just a little bit further. I'll also hit the side there as well. Here first. Put it on in. Whole length. Swoosh it on in. Smooth that glue into place. Right, just like that. A little bit of height to it. Okay, now I'm going to fold this piece up there, glue on that edge, and then tuck these two little, um, little points right there into it. There we are. Perfect. Fold these up. You can see how I, oh sorry, no, it's not going to fold them up, but attach them well, I guess. Just right in like that. Same on the other side. A little bit of glue on that top edge there. Twist it and press it right on in. There we are. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and we'll add our little support piece here, but it's a little bit wide. So we're going to go out that wide. No, I don't. I'm going to trim just a little piece off here. Just about perfect. It's our little support piece here, but it also hides the hole at the end of this section of the arm. There we are. Okay. Now. These two little top pieces that we had taken out of there before, little accents, we're going to have some fun with these. Okay. So, we're going to cut back from the I guess, front to the top, leave a little gap on the end here, so it's got a little flat kind of plateau. So you're not doing quite corner to corner. Doing just like that. Stick it right back on in there. Like that. There we go. Just a little dab of glue around it. And these little finishing detail pieces here, you guys, this adds so much more character to your suit. Little pieces like this. 
love adding these little features to it. There we go. Same thing on this side. Trim it just the way I just did. top piece just keeps taking more and more character as we go. up on top there. Now, add these little triangular sections to it. Let it do that now. I put them right up to that edge there, where that little recessed spot is. Just like that. One. Next one. If you want to build a suit of your own, check the links in the description below this video. I have links to all the armor files that you will need for just about every Halo game. There's a link to Pretzel's Locker, his Facebook page, um, where he has a ton of foam files, so jump on it. Okay, there is our upper section of our forearm done there. Hmm. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch on over and grab our upper side piece. We're gonna do this whole section Do a few things here. I'm going to do an angle cut on the inside here on both sides so that these can come together easy. And we're going to heat these and torque them in just a little bit. We want these sides to flare out. So we're going to kind of give it a little bit of a twist, like I did with our elbow. So I've marked just the edge of those little um, points there so I don't go further than that. out. Same on this side. There we go. Okay, also, I'm going to cut from this corner to that corner. I'm going to cut a V out on both those sides there. Let's make us a little line here so we know where we're going with it. quarter inch trench on this one. Kind of go on either side of that line that you drew. If you drew the line right in the middle, go on either side of it, essentially. Whole 
section out. Whole thing. There we are. Okay. Now I'm going to heat these first, and I'm going to torque them out a little ways. Then I'm going to glue that whole shape down into itself. Curve this upper part there a little bit and twist the bottom. Curve it and twist. Watch this. See that shape it's taken on there? Do that on the other side now. Curve it. Kind of torque on it a little bit, and again, go a little further than you think you're going to need to. All right, there we are, both sides, nice and curved, and that is going to start to shape out the rounded areas on our suit. And actually, oh no, maybe twist a little further. Oh, there we go, just like that. And I'm going to have to do this again on these two pieces, so we're just going to go ahead and do that now while it's still fresh in our minds. Put it down and twist it out. Use a table, use a table. Curve that piece, give it a nice little curve, little twist. There we are, just like that. Same on the other side. Out and twist. And curve right from where that outside edge goes there. Yay, turn. Crazy cookie. There we are. Hey, sweet. Ten likes. I'll take it. All right, there we are. There is our curve. all back to a piece at hand. Okay, so we have that curve there. We are going to glue the inside edge here, glue the points down, and then attach this right in the middle of it. Inside bit there first. Squish it on in there. Use the table if you have to. Hold it in place while you smooth that glue in. There we are. 
want stuff to take on this nice little like, kind of flat area here, like in these pieces. Now we'll attach our little corner there. Get away from it. I've already marked where it's going to go, so I know. And that one you're going to flush straight up against it, so flat to flat on that. Push it, push it, push it, and there you go. on top here. I'm going to smooth it down the whole top of this so that edge looks crisp. Oops. I might have a little spot of trouble with that little very inner part there so just give it a squeeze. Same thing on the other side now. It's a lot of rinse, lather, and repeat with this particular part of the shape, but there are a lot of little steps that can get overlooked, so make sure that you're giving appropriate attention to all the details that you actually want on this. And don't feel like you've got to make this as detailed as I'm doing. Um, I love the more detailed be, uh, builds. Do whatever you feel like. If you want to mix and match, you want to put the Halo 3 Mark 6 arms to Halo 4, do it. <laughs> do whatever you want to do. Make it your own. Let's flip these here. Down to two. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate it. I know it's maybe not the most entertaining thing in the world, but this is what I love. So I hope you enjoyed as well. Okay. Go ahead and just do a little hot glue now while I'm thinking about it. Reinforce these edges. Or reinforce those seams, rather. Go. Okay. Before we do that, there is a small um, half round piece that goes on top here and fits into those little grooves. We'll go ahead and add that. You see it's got a beveled edge on it there. I've already gone ahead and done that. If you watch the um, butt guard video, I'll show you how to do the beveled edge inside there. This is pretty straightforward. Just right down in that groove, hit midway on this side. So that little edge right there, you want this to attach midway up it. Nope, sorry, get that back. <laughs> Put it straight to the corner first. And it'll go flush right at that top edge of this piece. You may have to, from time to time, clean off the very top of your uh, your glue bottle because it may get gummed up. Okay. Get that corner in there. it around. There we go. Okay. 
things is coming along well. Yeah, again, put that corner in first. And then we just feed the rest of the shape right on up and around. Right around a little edge. There we are. in the back of it here. Make sure it's not going anywhere. There we are. Reinforce. Okay. Now we're going to flip the whole thing over. This front little edge here is going to attach right to that front little edge right here. So attach that first on both sides and then pull the rest of the shape. Again, we're going to muscle it right into place. We do a whole lot of manhandling with the UVA folk around here. So trust me on this one. Here we go. Oh, and also I should tell you, with this, when you're putting it on here, go corner to corner. We're not going to fold it on in. You're going to go corner edge to the corner edge and feed just the edge all the way around. Do not turn it in and go flush with that. Just the edge you want, okay? Just an edge. So right up on that corner. Because if you flush it in, it won't make, it'll make the rest of the piece not work because it'll be too pinched in like that. So it'll look really awkward. Just go right edge to edge. And again, this is something that they're not going to tell you inside the uh, PDO file, the Papakura, um, the foam file. You just got to work with it enough to figure it out on your own. So hopefully I'm saving you guys some hassle here. There we go. Now to this edge. And again, guys, if you have any questions, shout them on out in that little chat there, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you have any questions about cosplay in general, I can answer those as well. If you want to know about more about armor? Again, let me know. Okay. Now I'm just going to keep feeding it up both sides until it gets to the end here. Pull it up a little ways, put that glue right on that very top edge. Just like that. Go smooth here. Blend that glue on down that seam. There we go. Do one side, hit the other. Do one side, hit the other. Just walk it on up. Glue there. It's okay. If you gotta gob it on, you gotta gob it on. Just smooth the rest of that on out. Added strength to this side. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and push the middle in first, and then I'll finish up the rest of this. The middle I'm gonna push in a little too. Out, so we can contact and push it on in. There we are. Contact. There we are. All right, now the sides. 
the last two little gaps we got there. side. Again, edge to edge, all the way around. Here we are. We're not going to reinforce the back just yet. We're going to finish building out the front here. We're about to do this little middle section right there. Probably couldn't see that very well. Hold it a little longer. We're going to do this whole section. Right. Oh, what about those pieces? Here we are. Hmm. Okay. The piece shaped like this, it's got a little recessed area. I've already cut that, so we're going to pull that out of there first. It's got a groove that you're going to cut right inside the middle there. So I've marked it off. And do a little less than a quarter of an inch cut through on that. You just want a little V, and it's just for detail. And that's midway through where that little accent piece would rest. save our little um, recess area. We're going to save this piece off to the side for now. Okay. Take this one to the side. We're going the round piece and this little U shape first. With this here, you're going to hit, uh, it's going to go, it's not going to sit completely right up to the edge there. You see how it's going to be down a little ways? So push it. You're going to kind of have to eyeball it a little bit. Get it right where you need it to be. Mark your middle. So do like a line there and a line there so you know you're gonna hit that line there. And I lift this up about an eighth of an inch up so it's raised slightly and then glue it all the way down and around. So we'll do the back first. set about an eighth of an inch higher than that U. Push it in on that side there, all the way down and around. Set that back there. And then there's two more little recessed areas that I cut through with the X-Acto blade. X-Acto blade works really well right here, better than a box cutter does. Okay, we'll finish speeding this through. Inside there. there we go. Okay, so we're gonna need a little piece to fit inside the front there. Right there. There we are. Okay. So I just need a little section to fit right into the front area there on this. So we'll just cut us a little piece here. Yes. Okay. About half that piece there. That's why I keep my scraps. Anything bigger than like this, I hang on to because you never know when it's going to come in handy. Right. Yeah, 
that'll work out just fine. And this is a um, piece that isn't also, it's not called out inside the, uh, the pep file, so you're just going to have to figure it out. Dab again at the top there just to merge that seam. Smooth it into that little groove. All right. So we'll do a little hot glue, but not just yet. Okay. This one here, I'm going to go halfway up and I'm going to attach it to the middle piece here. I'm going to go halfway. Okay. So just like that. surgical right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Once you got it in place, just squish it on in there. And the going up and down with the, the pieces that are stacking like this adds a ton, a ton of detail. So this is where the shape, just the piece starts to really take a cool turn because now you've got all these extra little planar surfaces that adding, or all these, excuse me, they're adding all these extra levels of shadow that are going to be all over your piece. And if you're going to hit these edges with some chrome, you're going to have a bunch of really cool, dinged up looking edges with your battle damage. So that's also awesome. So there's that front section here. Right there. Now we're going to go ahead and take our little recess piece and we're going to put it back inside here, but we're going to cut half, we're going to cut it in half this way and then set it through halfway on that piece. Pretty much flush it with the bottom of the piece. Just like that. We'll put some glue from the back side. Smooth it on in there. like that. Okay, now the fun part. So for this one here, we are going to want to corner cut now this edge and that edge, and then we're going to fit it right on in here. Don't corner cut this piece here, just the back side. Run it, 45 degree angle. There we are. Nice little corner edge on that. Same on the other side. 45 degree. Just work it on down. Just like that. This here, you're going to hit this like right right up to the I guess the bottom edge of uh, this piece here. You're going right up to that edge, okay? And then this curve here, you're going to tuck down and in just a little ways. So actually what we'll do first is we're going to we'll attach this side to that side first, that side to this side here, and then the middle. Okay. 
and you're not going to go corner to corner. You're going to go just on the, this, the inside part of the sedge here. So about halfway through. Just about like that. Right about a little bit further down. Right about here. Right about here. Blue, blue. <sighs> Help if I was looking at the spot. Just like that there. Same with the other side as well. go. This here, going to hit right about halfway, so just feed it the rest of the way down. Kind of pull it forward a little bit so you make contact with the very front part of that edge there. Corner to corner. So pull it. A little less than halfway up, you're going to attach this side to here. Same with the other, pull it into place. Sweep that glue in. Okay, now we'll do the back. At this point, all I'm going to do with this here is I'm just going to run some glue right on that corner and smooth it on in. Press in a little ways with it. Smooth that glue right on that edge. All right. This section is just about done. We just need to do a little bit of reinforcing now. So, you can see how the angle on that is there. I'm going to pinch this in now a little ways, just like that. Run some hot glue along the entire set of seams on the back there. So, hang with me for a second while I reinforce this. going along all these seams here. Be generous with your glue because as I said before, the forearms are going to take a beating. So you will want them to be strong. Just really fill all those little grooves and trenches. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Angel Legend and I love armor. <laughs> I really do. I freaking love this. I love this stuff. Right. So now. Okay. These little areas too. We fit pieces into pieces. You're going to want these strong as well.
pretty much anywhere you've got a seam, put a bit of hot glue on it. You do not want these seams coming apart, especially when you're wearing it. Oh, uh, I've watched seams come apart at conventions and it sucks. I always bring a little emergency kit with me so that I can fix it in a jiff if something bad happens. So I'm, gonna go, I'm not gonna push it in completely, I'm just gonna just gently, just enough to close it up a little bit. don't want this entire section completely closed. As I said, gob it on. Get every little trench you can. Actually, I was watching a video the other day of uh, Bunch of Spartans all dancing to Gundam style, and someone did not attach their front part of their shoe right, and it came flying off in the middle of the dance. So, a little hazard to avoid. I actually almost lost my whole shoe in a parade that I did. Um, the first night out, I ever wore my Spartan armor, I ended up smashing the whole toe into a fence. I could not see because it was dark out. So, load it up with glue. Maybe we only got a little more in there. Put it a few too quick. Let's go around. All right, here we are. Forearm piece reinforced. Okay, that's looking nice. Where else? little reinforcement on these points here as well. So pull it up a little ways, get a little glue on that edge. Same on the other side. This is what I mean about using hot glue to attach the pieces. Get it blown to cool it down. So you don't have to hold it so long. And there we are. All right. Here we go. One of the tougher parts of this entire piece here. We'll take this, check and see if we got any little gaps we can fill. I don't see anything right now. Oh, see. No, that's good. Okay, we're gonna set this off to the side as well. All right. Our last side, arguably the most difficult, but it should come together pretty quickly. smoother piece out for us. Lost two. Okay. And thank you three for sticking with me on this. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate the support. Um, oh, sorry, Crazy Cookie. I just saw your comment. I have been doing cosplay since I was 14, but I've been doing armor now for, let's see, the past, the past four years. So, I was doing fabric cosplay way back when, more recently made the switch to armor, which I love a whole lot more. And thank you for the question, also. Apologize, I didn't see it earlier. Okay, so we're gonna do this section now here for a forearm. A lot of little pieces, a lot of what seems like tough areas to do, but it's going to come together real quick and not be nearly as difficult as you think. Okay, seriously, let's see what we do. We've already melded these two pieces that we needed before, so those are going to set here. For this particular build, we are going to need to corner cut this whole edge all the way to that little corner here this whole edge all the way there as well so do about a 45 degree angle cut on it
And this one is on the peppercore file. It is the most complicated section of the whole forearm to do because there are so many bends to this that they don't explain at all. And it was nerve wracking the first time trying to put it together. So getting it set finally now, hopefully I will save you an hour because it took me about an hour on just this side. Okay, more I got done. We are okay now with these here these two little side pieces we're gonna make a tiny groove cut right there and bend it up on both sides so cut right on the line I marked them cut right on the line the first time you're gonna go about halfway down on these here and again about a quarter of an inch through there get me out do both at once here. If you're doing a build like armor, try and do both, like both arms at once, both biceps at once, both shoulders at the same time. It's way easier to work in pairs because it's still fresh in your mind when you do it that way. I just didn't have to go in this video. It was enjoyable. I can't wait to get home. See ya. And thanks a lot, Crazy Cookie. Great to have you, man. You take care, all right? See ya. And I will keep doing what I love. Thank you. All right. So for this one here, you're just going to merge the entire thing, just flat edge to flat edge, all the way on down. Put it on this piece here. In. Here we are. Well, crazy Cookie, if you get time later and you can still hear me, pop on back and just skip to the end of the video. And you can see the finished product. Right. There we are. Put them together real nice, just like that. Do the same thing on this side. First, I'm going to glue this edge and fold it on up. Right where we made our little V cut. So tuck that up there. Smooth that glue in. And there we go. Just like that. Same on this side. And thank you for those of you that are still watching it. I really, really appreciate it, guys. I love getting a chance to share this with people that are interested. If you are going to do your own build, please, I want to see the progress. Let me see the progress. Pop onto that Facebook page, Angel Legend below. Let me see the pics, because I think that would be awesome. If you'll be in the Nashville area, coming on up in August, keep your eye out for Kai Khan. So I will be there doing my first ever armor panel, and I am very excited about it. So feed that edge all the way on down. All the way. All right. 
So again, this is a piece here. We're gonna glue it, fold it up. Hey, we got a new watcher. Welcome to the video, whoever you are. Where are you see? Special features. Hey, man, dude. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Hopefully I'll get some cool build breakdowns here really soon. I'm going to show uh, the whole process on everything. Okay, side pieces are together for our sides here and there. And we're going to build this middle section and then start attaching it all. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me. The middle section is just a round piece on the uh, pep file, but I went ahead and did the little wheel a little lock wheel on top, so I wanted it there. So I'd encourage you to do the same, and I did a quarter inch uh, foamy sheet here with an eighth inch stacked on top for that recessed detail there. Bent. Bent. It's going to attach to this top piece here, which also has a recessed area, which I've already done and cut and set in. And it's literally just going to stick right on there. Uh, make it so the eighth inch little foamy sheet is sticking above. Okay, push it just right in. Crimp it up in there. Again, guys, if you have any questions, any questions at all, fire them on out. Okay, show you the two little recessed cuts here. There's a tiny one there and a tiny one here. I'll show you how I do these. Instead of cutting these all the way out, we're going to make a small V cut and just pop that little piece out, not all the way through, and we're going to fill that trench in with the hot glue so we can kind of widen it out with the iron part of the hot glue gun. So we'll just do a little slice. Both edges. there. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see it. A little slice like this, right through. A little slice there, right at the front, right at the back. And then pull that piece out. Got just a little itty bitty spot inside there. Not, not. Okay, now take our hot glue gun. And we're just going to squeeze just a tiny little bit of glue, put it right inside there, and then just back and forth with it like this. And the heat from that glue gun will widen out that gap just a little bit to give us a better view of it, as you can see right there. Same thing on this one. A little bit of glue and just back and forth. Get it all down on the inside there. Just like that. Okay, this one here, attaching the front of this section here. Again, below that little eighth inch mark. You're going straight on in with it. Okay. Keep going in. Yeah, just like that. Crush that sucker on in there. Pull in that glue. All right, here we are. Now for this one in particular, you're gonna have a couple little gaps here that there's no pieces for on the pep build. So you have to kind of measure it and figure out what that gap is. I've made a couple little side pieces. 
I'm just going to nestle right in there and I'm going to set them back down about an eighth of an inch from the top. So you've got a nice little recessed area there. Again, you're going to have to figure that one out. These are little bits here that they don't quite tell you how to do. Hopefully I'm saving you guys some time. Okay. Whew, so much glue on my hands right now. It's totally worth it. I'll deal with picking it off my fingers for the next couple of days. It is worth it to watch this suit come together. Because using Loctite, seriously, using Loctite five second glue, it will cut your build time um, in half. Honestly, compared to hot glue, I can build probably about three times faster using that for uh, my main connections and then just using the hot glue as reinforcement. So here we are. And I'm actually going to do the hot glue reinforcement right now on this piece, all these little back sections here. And they come together. Probably going to try and bust out on me. Okay, while it's drying, going back to these pieces here, we're going to add these little side pieces to it. Okay, now these little side pieces are going to sit kind of on top. So you're going to, you're really going to take these, I can show you here on this, um, might be a little hard to see, but they sit kind of on top of the edge of that little piece here. So this is going to just dance right along that edge. And so you're going to go right where that little folded over, right where this little folded over section is, um, right there. You're going to butt it right up against that and feed it all the way on down as far as you can go. piece looks at like this. The curve is where that little uh, wheel piece is going to fit into right there. They have to come together. I like that. Okay. Put that side there. Goes all the way up. Actually, you know what? We're going to attach it, I'll take it back. We're going to attach it to this piece here first. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, and actually, well, I have this done. Okay. Quarter inch from the top is where we're going to start. I'm going to go about halfway up here. You know, halfway up, stick it. I'm going to push down so it's below that eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to go back up halfway again, all the way down to the end here. So it's going to have this little dip in it. Do the middle round area first. Oops. There we go. Set that aside there just like that. Pull it up now, like this, to finish it down this edge. You can see that there. Doing that, put it up, smooth that glue in, pull it up again, same thing all down this piece. Again, about halfway up the piece. So I'm pulling that. Yeah. Here we are. 
right in. Grab the other side, same thing. All right, there we go. Again, smooth in that glue. Like I said, this is the most complicated side of this whole piece. This is, uh, again, a real pinnacle section of this whole thing. It is a prominently viewed area because it was on the backyard. So front and back, name ones you want to be seen the best. Okay. I'll put a little glue on the side here just to blend all those in. Put that there, right here. Smooth that on in. Now I've got this front little section here, this little piece, you can kind of see, it's right there. That is going to fit right inside here, where this little groups are. And this, instead of being a recessed area, we're actually going to raise that little piece up just a little bit. So we'll use our X-Acto knife again for this. Push down, pull back. Push down, pull back, and then saw it through. Hey, new viewer, thanks for checking out. I am Angel Legend, and I love making armor. Okay, so just pull it up about, oh, right about an eighth of an inch up. This little um, raised area there. Put the glue on the that little edge there, this edge here, and on the back, so you can save the top detail. Smooth it on in. Make sure you get it inside the grooves. Okay, just like that. This here is going, you can see where this is gonna sit, it's gonna sit down below. So you're actually going to that little top piece we just attached is going to hit just below the top here. So about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch down from there is right where it's going to hit. And these little pegs will fit right in that groove. You can see I'm kind of dry fitting it already. That's where it's going to sit, just like that. Put that front end first. Boom, there it is. There. And pull slips off center a little bit. Come on. We'll try and hit it dead on front and center first shot. There we go. So you don't gotta peel it apart like I just did. But if you do, no worries. Just put a little glue on that seam. Straighten it back up. And I caught it early. If, if it had been a few more seconds, I wouldn't have been able to pull it off like that. It would have torn all that foam. So just be aware of that. Okay, now your front little pieces here, we're just going to nestle them just a little ways down into there. Not very much. You just want it to pretty much just be evenly flat along there. So just barely in. Just like a thing like that, kind of kicks it out a little bit. You want that look right there. Same thing with this side here. There it is, right on in. 
glue. All right, there is our entire middle section there. Ready to rock. And now we're going to attach, we're going to, we are going to attach this to this here, but I'm going to go ahead and reinforce it while I'm reinforcing it. I'm going to attach our other bridging piece. So we go from this edge here to that edge there. Force this real fast. Our hot glue on those seams. So nothing pops off on us. I know I've said it before, but the hot glue allows a certain amount of flex as well. So when you're wearing it, it can actually move and you don't gotta worry about it snapping in areas. All right. So we're gonna set this off to the side, let it dry. This little piece here, I'm gonna curve it and round it on down. You can see right there, I've done that on this upper section here, right there. A little bit of heat. A nice little curve. All right, I don't know if I held that long enough. It's a little more heat. There we go, much better. Pop my hot glue seams there, so I'll have to fix those, which is fine. Let's go with that curve. Okay, so I'll fix these little seams up here in the middle. Glue that back in. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and attach to this side first. You can see here, I'm going edge to edge. Okay, I'm not going to merge the entire thing down. I'm just going edge to edge on both sides. So literally right on the corner of that edge, and that's where I'm going to stick this piece here. Right on the corner. Just like that. So it's going to feel like it's going to be loose, but it is for a purpose that it feels that way. Okay. And then the same thing on this side here. Right on that edge. There we are, just like that. Okay. So, show this piece here. Okay, that's dry enough. Okay, so we're gonna take this now and we are going to set this whole thing inside here. Now, there's gonna be a gap. I don't know if you can see already, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap there at the top. I'm gonna show you how to fill that gap in a second, but first we're gonna attach this all in there. So. These little side edge pieces there, hit it just about an eighth of an inch off the, top, the bottom of that piece here. And you're gonna be kind of right about there with it. Okay, 
so it's not too far down, just like that. Again, I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to go edge to edge all the way down. So I'm going to pretty much be going like flush all the way down this whole thing here. right to the very corner, just like that. Smooth out that glue. Let's see. Where is the stream? Noisy Rush, hey, he's back. He's streaming. A little snappy. Yes, actually, Noisy Rush, I am very close to finishing the whole suit. Um, after this forearm is done, I have to do my helmet, my chest, and both thighs, and the suit is pretty much finished, um, with the exception of just the little hand pieces here. So, I'll be knocking those out probably in the next week and a half. But yes, I am very close to finishing this sucker. You can see I'm going to kind of bend this down here a little bit, because... This front piece here is going to go flush with the side of this here. So if you want, give yourself an idea of where it's going to hit, and then stick it. And then feed the rest of the shape in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, and I'm going to mark it. You're going to have about a, about a half inch from here to the top of that piece there, so that little edge there. Hey, Crazy Cookie is back. We are almost done, Crazy Cookie. Welcome on back to the stream. I am almost finished up here. There we go. Step aside there. Pull this up a little ways, and again, I'm just going to keep hitting that little corner all the way on down. It out a little bit, put that glue right on the edge of it, and just work it down. And move it right into that corner. A little bit more here. And we'll just blend that glue down. You can see already this side here is not as tight as that side, so be aware of that. It's not going to be nearly as crimped in right here. You can see on this here, see it's a little bit wider there. This side's good and tight, a little bit wider. That is for a purpose. That is the bottom side of where your arm fits through that armor. So just like that. So keep that in mind. All right, now we'll take this other side here. And we are very, very close to being done with this build. Oh, I can almost taste it. And I am, oh shoot, I'm making good time. I am. The first time I built this, it took me three and a half hours. I am an hour under that time. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay, so again, that side to that side there. I'm going to. Run the glue all the way down this piece now. So do the corner edge first. There we go. Stick it on in. Just barely. Okay. About a sixteenth of an inch up on the side here. Make that corner fit. I'm going to go ahead and close this gap up here. Um, best way to do that, 
I'm going to take uh, another little piece here. I'm going to take, uh, you can see here, I'm going to make a half rounded shape that I'm just going to wedge inside that little hole there to uh, merge these two pieces. Let's see here. Figure out my relative size. Perfect. So a little curve. You guys will get real quick at doing this on your own. Like this will become almost second nature at a point where you'll be able to eyeball a shape into place. You'll be able to cut a curve real quick and easy. This is where you're, you make up time inside your build instead of sitting around trying to figure out how is that piece going to go. Well, I'm showing you right now just how it's going to go in there. Okay. That curve should fit nicely in here. Oh, ooh, yeah. Oh, good. Yes. Literally, we're just filling that gap. So, go to this piece first and then fit that round edge around it. So, a little bit. There we go. See it fold in there. This will fit right on top. I'm going to hold it right where I want it to be and I'm going to feed glue along that seam. So I want it right there. Feed some glue to it. Feed it up straight where I put you. There we go. Blend that glue on down and in. Let's move it all out. There we go. Oh, she's almost done. She's almost done. All right. Finish up with this here. Again, I'm going to look at the bottom here. See how it's going to be a little bit off here? I'm going to pull this edge down so it lines up with the other edge there. And that's where I'm going to stick it. I'm going to manhandle this whole sucker right into place. Pull it down so I'm going to be flush. Right there. There it is. Bend it in and finish up that edge. But I gotta say, guys, so far for me, um, on the Halo 4 Mark 6 build, the forearm is the most complicated piece that I've built yet. So just keep that in mind. This is That's why I, I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off doing this video because this piece is very complex. So don't feel bad if you don't get it right the first shot. I screwed up a piece already. The first one I did of these, I made it way too big. Um, so it is, like I said, it's very, very complex. So just be aware of that going into it. You may have to fight with it a little bit first time around, but hopefully this video, if you get all your pieces cut and you follow along with me in this video at a later time, you should not have a problem at all because I have gone through the torture already for you. And Lamo, there we go. Awesome, okay. All four sides are now assembled. got this side here, we got that side, sorry, we're getting closer, 
those two sides, these two sides, these two sides, and these two sides all fit together. Now we're going to attach everything together. Before I do though, I'm going to go ahead and just reinforce this, get it um, setting with hot glue, and we're going to start putting the breaths to this all together. Fill these grooves in. And the reason I am going to um, reinforce this right now is because it's very, very hard to get your hot glue gun down inside the shape once you've attached it all because um, it's very cramped down through this forearm. So just be aware of that. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge getting it down in there. Um, you will have to try and reinforce some of the edges when you do get them attached. If you have a long hot glue gun like I'm using right now, you should be able to reach most of everything inside of it when you're reinforcing it. So something to keep in mind, some food for thought. Well, what do you guys think so far? Doing all right with this? It's only my second live stream, so I don't know if I'm talking too much or not enough. Keep reinforcing. Oop, my glue is starting to want to slow down on me. Come on, glue gun, hold out. You can melt that stick a little quicker. It'll be all right. Oh, dude. <laughs> Good question, Noisy Rush. Um, when you finish a suit and you put it on for the first time, it is, oh my gosh. If, if I can imagine what having a, having a kid feels like and seeing a <laughs> baby for the first time, Jesus, <laughs> no. that's what it feels like. It's, I don't know, the first time I got to see myself in the mirror wearing um, my blue suit of armor, I was like, oh, I did that. It's, that and any convention you go to, you are just the man. Expect to just have a million photos taken of you. Not everybody takes the time to do this, but those who do and those who do it well, people really, really respect the hell out of them for the detail and the work that they put in. And I've seen a lot of good suits. I've seen a lot of not so good suits, but even the not so good ones, those kids, you could tell they poured their heart and soul into what they made and it's evident in their love of the game, have Halo and cosplay. But yeah, you feel, you feel like a million bucks the first time you put a suit on. And I do plan on doing a, a Let's Suit Up video later on so you guys can see the full thing in action. And I will do a strapping and a uh, buckle tutorial as well. Okay. And a painting. Yes, thank you, babe. And a... Uh, and a uh, Plasti Dip tutorial as well. And a couple of spots here. Before I grab a glue. Try and seal up any little hole that you can find because uh, if you don't, even when you get that Plasti Dip on, those holes will show up and they will stare you in the face and they will drive you nuts. So try and seal up every little hole that you can find. Preferably from the back if you can, but if you're doing just little corners like I'm doing right now with the hot glue, they're not super noticeable by anybody else. And a lot of this detail, a lot of what I'm doing right now, only I know it's there, but it's okay. Even if only you know it's there and you enjoy it and you're glad you did it, do it. Did I hear you, Noisy Rush? I hear you. 
No, I'm trying to remember. You're working on, um, hold on, you're working on Halo 4 uh, Recon Armor, right? I want to say that's the one you're working on right now. Um, I do plan on doing, if that is you, I do plan on doing um, one of the chests from that. So uh, hopefully it'll help you get going the rest of the way on that. Okay. There we go. Let this sucker... We will let it dry. All right. Now these are some little detail pieces that I added or am adding to my suit. Um, as I said before, I saw them on the original and traced them on out onto these here because I want to get as much detail on here as possible. So I traced out where they're going to go. I'm just going to add these right now before I forget. I'm going to adding a big surface area detail piece like this. Do your entire outline first. And then this slashes through. Okay, reach. Okay, I can help out with that. I can help out with that. And I'm glad these videos are helping out. Really am. I Few that have helped in any way is a charge for me because it lets me know that at least I'm doing something right. <laughs> and actually, if you want to see um, if you want to see the blue suit in action, check out um, inside my videos the C2E2 video that we did um, from last year. And about midway through, there's me and my buddy Reese. He's wearing the red suit of armor that I made, and I'm wearing the blue suit. We catch up with the Deadpool at Comic Con, and it gets a little nutty. Out of here. Yeah, the first time I ever wore um, my armor was to, or excuse me, to a convention was to Comic Con here in Nashville, put on by Wizard World, and it took me forty-five minutes just to get in the building. No joke, just to get um, to the from the ticket line to the main floor of the con, it took me 45 minutes. I was getting stopped like every other second for photographs and uh, knuckle bumps and all that. So it was quite a charge, especially when little kids run up to you and go, I have you in a game, or I have the game of you, or I love Halo. It's amazing, amazing feeling. Of course, you got parents coming up to you going, my kid thinks you're amazing, God, please get a photo. It's a cool feeling. <laughs> Thanks, Noisy Rush. I appreciate that crazy cookie. Okay. Slap this last one here. And Noisy Rush, actually, um, if you would, find my Facebook and uh, show me what you've got already on your suit. And if I can lend a helping hand in any way to help you get that sucker finished, I will. Because if I can see it, I can better assess what you got to do next to get your build to go a little better. So if you can, find, uh, find my Facebook uh, below, shoot me a message, and let me see what you got going on there. Coming to the home stretch here. Almost taste it again. Okay. Detail piece in. Right. Reinforce my elbow here real fast. And then we're going to put this entire thing together. Oh, 
Yes, I am still under time. Hell yeah. I'm under time by 50 minutes. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> and if you if you do watch the C2E2 video, the red suit inside there, I did not have any template to work off of. The only thing I had to work off of was my blue suit that I made before, and I used a fabric tape measure to measure out all the pieces, and I created my own template, did my entire own build freehand for that. Um, so if it doesn't look like any of the other um, EVA foam Mark VI Halo 3 builds that you've seen, that's why. Because I had to make it up as I went. And so that build came together in 11 days. But I probably put, oh gosh, I put probably over 150 hours into it in that 11 day span of time. Um, built the entire chest in an afternoon. And that was literally me kind of just guessing on what a shape should look like, drawing it out onto the EVA foam, and I was only off one time. Yes, dude, please put up some progress photos. Um, send them to me in a message, and a shout you out on uh, my channel and on the uh, Facebook page, and let everybody else see what you got going on. And actually, are you on the um, Halo Props forum on Facebook? So if you're not, get on there. Those guys are incredibly, incredibly helpful. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, so exciting. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do We'll do this joining first. We're going to do this side first. Okay. You see how I'm doing this here? We're going to be all the way down the edge here. And this one's going to be coming in on that side to meet it. Okay, now this is a little bit, uh, this is going to get a little bit convoluted here, but follow me if you can on this. So, where am I? Okay, this edge here, matching that edge here, this piece is going to sit about a quarter of an inch up and feed all the way back. Whereas this one here, you're literally going corner to corner. So this is gonna be going corner to corner on this side here. So like, uh, like, it, like that corner to corner right there. This one is going on top like that, okay? So just be aware of that. All right, so we'll go ahead and do the on top piece first. And I've marked off where I'm gonna hit there. So I'm just going to go, so you can see what I'm doing. Thank you, Noisy Rush. I appreciate it. This is, uh, I love, love making armor. Love it. Freaking, I'm a freak for Halo. I've been playing Halo, oh my gosh, since I was 14. Holy cow. I have been playing Halo for 14 years. I think, is it 14? Yeah, I've been playing Halo for 14 years. Oh my gosh. And we're just going to keep feeding it up. When you get to this upper little corner here, um, you're going to push just the edge of that corner, okay? So if you need to uh, kind of trace out where you're going to go with it, do that. I'm actually going to do that right now because it will help. I'm just going to trace where I need to put that glue just so I don't mess this up here. You'll have about a quarter of an inch from that little spot to this little spot here. No, I'm sorry, take it, I take that back. I'm looking at this in reverse. Don't hit that corner. Go about half an inch gap. So I'm gonna pull it right here. Half inch gap right there. There we are. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got the reverse. I got the reverse on my other one here. 
Yeah, dude, the, yeah, um, dude, the, the Halo of Prodigal guys, guys you'll, you'll know the forum because it's got like 10,000 people in it. Um, the group on Facebook, check them out. They are awesome and they are a massive help. I jump on there from time to time if people have questions. I will answer as many as I possibly can as to the best of my ability. Um, guys go on there and they sell guns, they sell helmets. So if you're having trouble with a helmet, there are a ton of guys that do really, really good resin molds of helmets on there. Um, guns, oh, a guy on there just finished up this 3D printed um, pistol from uh, from Halo 5, and it looks sick. And they sell kits on there too. I don't sell any of my pieces on there. Um, I may at some point. Um, but the most I've offered up is a couple of SMGs on there. But that's about it. Yes, check them out. Uh, for for community, I just say, Halo fans are the best. Especially um, the guys who do the armor as well. They are a really, really awesome group of dudes. And um, it's a forum where they do not allow hate. If you vent any kind of hate on there, or they don't allow swearing of any kind. Like, you vent any of that on there, and they will ban you like that. So there's, there's no bullying on that, which is awesome. Feed some glue down inside here. Reinforce this whole edge like that. All right. You see that starting to come together? Oh, like raising a child, baby. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here drinking my smoothie. Right, right, right here, right here in the kitchen. Yes, okay. Okay, as I said before, this one you're going just corner to corner, okay? So it should be pretty easy. Going all the way on up here. You will have to come up a little bit on that lip there, and that's about an eighth of an inch that you're gonna overhang this piece on top of that lip. So do your edge first. Almost done, almost done. Hell yeah. are. Oh, so ready for this sucker to be done. Almost there, almost there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna celebrate once this sucker is done. <laughs> Seriously nerve-wracking pieces. Okay, so now you'll just come up a little bit over, right up there to that edge. So again, I'm just gonna trace out right where I want it to be. And I'm gonna hit that little corner spot here. So we'll come up right about I'm gonna give about a, this is where I'm going to do about a quarter of an inch from that little bottom uh, recess to the edge there. I'm going to mark it again. Let's see here. Okay, mark it, mark it. And actually, uh, Noisy Rush, what is your name there on uh, Facebook? So I'll know it's you, if you don't mind. Or if you want to message me privately, that's totally fine. Just, just so I know who I'm talking to. Okay. Mm. Oh, yes, man, it's coming really well. I am very happy. Sorry, not to toot my own horn here. I am very, very happy with how this build went today. Okay. Okay. The last little section there. Oh, yes. It's amazing. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> what? I'm excited. Don't look at me like that. I can't. I can't revel. Hmm. Let's put a little bit of glue down inside here. Reinforce that whole seam just a little bit more. Making contact. There it is. Yes. Yes. 
yes, yes, okay. There we are, got that side there done. Now for this side, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and again, hit those with some hot glue, because it's way easier to hit it now. So I'm trying to reach my little paw up inside there and get it all over my knuckles. Ooh, I'm shaking with excitement over here. One of these days, I really hope that I get to pretty much do this uh, full time. Gaining more subscribers every single day. And hopefully, if I, if I could be able to provide people with videos like this, awesome prop builds and armor builds and weapons and all that, that's, that's a dream of mine. Along with my uh, voice acting career, those in tandem, that would be a perfect little uh, spectacular sandwich right there. Okay. Almost done with this. Got a little bit of blast. I think we got it. Boom. All right, there we are. Okay. Now for this section here, we did before. Before we um, uh, put this on, I'm going to take this elbow and I'm going to attach it now. So that little, that little spot there we got is designed to cradle right in uh, into that little section there. How'd I get into Halo? Um, let's see, which one here? Spirit <laughs> um, I actually, believe it or not, I got into Halo um, from a couple of friends of mine. That, they had the original Xbox, and I got to play Halo on their system for the first time. I didn't have an Xbox at all. It was way back in the day. And they just beat the pants off me. But I got totally hooked on the game, and my favorite level um, from Halo 1, still to this day, is Two Betrayals. So whenever I was at his house, we would always play Two Betrayals. Did not matter. Always. That was just the level, like the only level that we played. And so uh, that following Christmas, um, my parents ended up buying me my very first Xbox, and it, they bought it for me with Halo. And I think my brother and I finished that game in two days, which by, you know, nowadays isn't crazy impressive but for a couple of you know, 14 13 year old kids it was hell of a hell of an impressive uh, feat for us yeah and what actually got me into halo armor believe it or not is a friend of mine her name is uh, she used to go by master crow online her name is suze and she was a very skilled cosplayer still is and she sent me the Indie Mobile link, because she knew that I was really into cosplay. She sent me the Indie Mobile link uh, that they did on uh, Backyard Effects for uh, doing Halo Armor. And as soon as I saw that, I said, yep, that's happening. And I jumped into it, made the first suit. Uh, the first suit, though, ended up taking me about a year and a half to do, and it was a Peppercore build. Um, a lot of crazy things happened to me inside that year, a lot of ups and downs. So I would work on it for a month, I'd stop for a couple weeks, I'd work on it for two months, I'd stop for a month. Um, put a lot of my blood and a lot of my sweat and tears into that armor. So it was more or less like my little soul cage, if I can get deep on you guys for a second. But uh, it was my own little soul armor. Okay, so the reason that little cradle was, we bent that down like that, it's tipped out, is because it angles out the... Um, angles the elbow out like that. So you can see how this one is here. There's our little angle for our elbow. <laughs> no other assembly required on that, except for two little points that we're gonna add a little bit later. Okay. So there, oh, I almost forgot. On this side here, these are just two little added strength features that I added. I'm gonna suggest making two little just corner pieces and attaching them on the side here just for strength. It'll help out the entire piece overall. Awesome, Logan. Dude, totally. Build yourself a suit. If you if you have a particular one in mind you want to do, let me know, and I will get as many tutorials up to help you step-by-step step through the process as I can. All right. Home stretch here. So I'm just going to put them um, just, like, just like that. It's pretty much edge-to-edge edge there. Nothing too insane. Okay. Right here. 
edge. Spot of hot glue on the inside there. Oh, so close. Last little piece here. You can see both those little pieces there. Add a lot of strength right to the right there to that little spot, and they keep it from separating. You don't want it to separate. Um, the way I form the foam, if you back this uh, this video up, I form it using a heat gun right here, and then a lot of it because of the way these pieces are cut when they're attached together, they are forced into that shape, and that's how the form comes out. Like this one here. Only this side and that side were actually heated. Everything else was forced into shape by simply attaching it to the next piece, like a big old uh, 3D puzzle. And hot glue right here, little spot. All right, now for the final side. This bad boy here. Okay, and we're going to let me make sure I do the same. Okay, on this side here, remember these these two little um, kind of forked areas on the side. You're going to cover that entire section with this piece here. That's going to cover the entire piece right there. And then you're going to come all the way up. Let's see, one, two. It looks like. Yes, okay. So right where that first bend is right there, you're going to go all the way up to that side, the top up here. So put it on. Yeah. Glue it down here first, and we're just going to bleed it on up. Um, yeah, I think the helmet probably will be the last piece that I do because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to um, cut and install your visor um, as well as doing a vinyl overlay for the hexagonal pattern that's on it. I'm going to trace out where this is going to hit. Right there. I apologize if my fan is a little loud there. Here we go. Got it. There we go. And fill this one in. All right. Feed the shape up. will try and fight with you because you're now taking pieces that you've heat formed already and you're trying to merge them together so it's going to try and kick it back out at you. You just got to get inside there and battle with it a little bit. 
just enough to get it to stay where we want to go. Okay, a little bit more glue on that seam. Work on the length of it. There she is. Okay. Oh, um, if you're looking to get a uh, particular visor, I would say either um, hop on uh, hop on Amazon or hop on eBay. You can find a ton of different visors. Um, they might call them helmet shields or bubble shields, but uh, I would not go with a bubble shield. Go with a helmet shield. All right, and then this one. Okay, this one again, because this is the more tight piece, you're just going edge to edge on here. So, here we go. Edge to edge. And on this side, you're going to come all the way up to pretty much flush with that corner there. Edge to edge, all the way on up. Oh my goodness, it's almost done. Stoked about this one. Let's see how I'm gonna leave time. Ah, oh, yes, I am 30 minutes under time. It's the best. It helps when I know what I'm doing. Okay. And we'll work on the top section first. Make sure we get that out. Oops. Alright, here we go. Home stretch. Form it a little bit. There we go. Side in there. Most of that done. There we go. Time. What are we at? Three hours and four minutes. All right. There it is. Yes, I do watch Red vs. Blue. Um, okay, I think I need the green glass. Oh, you want to do that? Oh yeah, the Eva helmet. There is a uh, there's a great tutorial on YouTube about how to vacuum form fashion. Yes, there we are, guys. Forearm is done. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry, I misspoke. I forgot. One more little piece. Okay. On the sides here, where the, four, the little elbow sticks out, we want more strength there. We're going to tip it back in. Put two little pieces right there to fit in. Next piece. Do this right there. Swing 
in there. So this side, oh man, just about there. Again, I know you see how fast I'm cutting these, just because I can eyeball it. I know what size I'm working with. You will get to that point working with EVA foam enough. You will get to that point fast enough. Okay, and. All right. <laughs> Pause one before. There it is now. Finally done. Whew. All right. Um, apart from just a little bit of reinforcement on the inside that I'm going to do, um, this whole piece is ready to rock. And that, guys, that is how you make your Halo 4 Mark VI forearms. See the build there? That. Oh, a couple of twins. So we got. Nice. Ooh, that's really cool. Good. Just got, you know, I got to put that on. You know, I got to. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Mm, don't be so mean. Yes. Ah. Favorite hero, Halo character? The Chief, man. Spartan 117. The Master Chief. That's my favorite character. But there we are, guys. There are the Halo 4 Mark VI forearms. And of course, you gotta pat them because they're gonna be a little wobbly on you there. Um, I do wear an exo suit underneath, so it gives me a little bit more room, plus the padding. You look like a monster, just like a freaking beast with these on. As you can see, that whole thing, build your four sides first and then put that sucker together and it will save you a lot of hassle in the long run. It'll save you a lot of headache trying to figure these out. And they will come together just about seamlessly. So anyway, guys, um, what do you use for... Oh, I used um, these little sheets here. These are called foamy sheets. You can get these at Michael's. This one here is an eighth of an inch thick, right there. Um, really easy to cut out with an X-Acto knife. This is one here is a sixteenth of an inch thick. You can find these at Walmart or at Michael's. Um, this one here is a quarter of an inch thick sheet uh, compared to the standard three-eighths for your regular EVA foam. All right, guys. Well, hey, <laughs> I know it is it is a bun, a little bit to deal with. But anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for stopping out uh, as if you left your house. Um, but anyway, uh, check back in next week. All new tutorials coming on out, and hopefully here in the next two weeks, you're going to see a new painting tutorial, new armor uh, strapping and buckling tutorial. And we're going to be off to the races come uh, August 4th Kai Con. So anyway, stay awesome. If you love this video, if you liked it, drop a comment below. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Take care, guys.